Hi guys, I'm Antoine, and today on the episode, I'll be talking about why ZBL is much harder than 3 style. Now, this isn't actually a subject that anybody has suggested yet, and that's only because I'm recording this video before the suggestions are actually open. Uh, it's just a subject that I thought was interesting, and I felt like talking about, so here you go. A quick comparison of both ALG sets will show that ZBL has 493 ALGs. Full 3 style, on the other hand, has a total of 818 ALGs a number close to twice as many as ZBLL. Yet, very few people actually know and use full ZBLL in solves, but learning 3 style is almost a prerequisite for being fast at 3x3 blind. And so many people know 3 style, essentially if you want to be in the top 50 or even 100 in the world, you have to know 3 style. Both ALG sets propose essentially the same advantage doing two steps at the same time. In ZBLL, it's OLL and PLL at the same time, and in 3 style, it's just two pieces at the same time. So then, why do so many more people know 3 style than ZBLL? Is it just that blind solvers are way smarter and speed solvers are stupid? What's going on here? Well, I guess that could be the case, but there are definitely other more important reasons to explain things that are going on here. In my opinion, the three main reasons have to do with the ALGs and cases themselves, the way that they are practiced, and finally, simple motivation. For 3 style, basically all the ALGs are commutators, which have a clear logic behind them. People that learn 3 style usually understand what they're doing and why it works. If an ALG is forgotten, it's often possible to figure it out again, or at worst, it's possible to figure out an alternative until the time where you have to take the time to relearn it. In addition to that, for most cases, there are only one or two commonly accepted best ways of solving them, and so it's pretty easy to share with others, or remember an ALG you forgot simply by talking to your friends. Finally, in 3 style, the ALGs are relatively short, with an average move count somewhere around 10 moves. On the other hand, for ZBLL, what the case looks like, and the ALG used to solve it, don't really have any relation at all. You can very rarely figure out how to solve the case period, let alone quickly, based off of what it is, or the cycles involved. You have no choice but to look up documents with ALGs, and pick out which seemingly random sequences of around 15 or so moves you can do fastest. And often, the ALG that one person may prefer would be different from what another person would rather, and so it can be hard to find people who use the same ALGs as you, and this makes learning, remembering, and sharing ALGs much more difficult. So basically what we have till now is that ZBLL has less ALGs, but they're longer and don't make any sense at all. And then there's 3 style that has a lot more ALGs, but they're shorter and at least they make sense. And then, you can't practice both ALG sets the same way either. You can, of course, simply use a program that generates random cases, or random letter pairs to practice these ALG sets. However, let's face it, that's a very boring, and it's definitely not the preferable way to practice the ALGs in their natural habitat. That is, by doing solves and getting practice as they come up. But, that kind of practice doesn't treat both ALG sets fairly, getting a much better practice session with 3 style than ZBLL. If you think about it, in an average blind solve, you get to use about 4 corner ALGs and 6 edge ALGs on average, giving you the opportunity to practice about 1% of the whole set every solve. With ZBLL, it's a bit of a different story. Assuming that you use CFOP, as most people who use ZBLL do, you have a 1 in 8 chance of getting edges oriented randomly, and you only get one potential ALG out of 493 every solve. Assuming no repetition of cases, that requires around 40 times more solves to practice the same equivalent 1% of the set. Now, even if you manage to control edges enough to get oriented edges every 2 solves, it still takes an average of 10 times more solves to practice the same fraction of the set as 3 style with blind. So basically, even though there are significantly less cases in ZBLL, they come up so much less often that it makes it just a lot harder to practice them, and therefore it just makes remembering them a lot more difficult. Finally, for 3x3 blind, 
It's absolutely clear that full 3 style makes your time significantly faster than if you don't use it. There's absolutely no doubt about it. But in 3x3, even one-handed solving, it's often hard to convince yourself that ZBLL will one day pay off. In the same way as 3 style, the concept of ZBLL seems undoubtedly better than the alternative. However, in practice, it's not always certain. An extra step in the solve is required that's not required in 3 style, recognition. For multiple cases, it's even often necessary to look at many sides of the cube to be certain of what the case is, wasting precious time. It's also not possible to think ahead like you can do in blind, where you can think of the next case and recall the alg while you're doing the previous one. For ZBLL, you have one shot and the clock is ticking. All of that without mentioning that the current algorithms available for ZBLL are not always very good. Sometimes, even just doing the regular OLL and PLL is the best way to solve a case, really making you wonder if it's worth spending all that time learning the cases, learning the recognition, and spending the time in the solve to look at the case, to recognize it, and to recall the algorithm. Looking at others, there really seems to be only one person who knows full ZBLL and who does use it to his advantage, Jabari. Other than that, probably the highest profile cuber who uses full ZBLL is Anthony Brooks, and he doesn't really seem to get much advantage from it. Recognition and recall take a definite toll on many of his solves using ZBLL. It's actually to the point where some people jokingly say that his solve had Brooks' last layer when there was a really big pause before doing the last layer case. And so, with the combination of harder algorithms that you can't understand, a lack of ability to practice, or even to know if it will ever be useful, it's no wonder that very few people successfully learn and apply full ZBLL to their solves. Is full ZBLL the way of the future for any 3x3 event? Only time will tell. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and make sure to write some comments about suggestions that you have, topics, uh, questions, whatever, and thank you for watching, and see you next time.